Hi, I'm Eric Dometto. And and I'm a cyber psycho. And I live in Night City. I mean, Nightmare City. I mean, wait, what are we doing today? Uh, we're doing Nightmare City. Are we playing Cyberpunk? From Night... We're going from, to Night City? No. no, not Cyberpunk. So 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 a nightmarish horror city. That's where we're going. It's um from 1980. Um, goes under the... Probably okay. goes under the um, the Italian name Incubo sulla Città Contaminata. Contaminata. I love I love hearing it in Italian. I I honestly do like unironically love hearing the name of this movie in Italian. I mean, the the full title in Italian is Incubo sulla Città Contami- Contaminata. 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 Yeah. But on the poster I'm looking at, it's not the poster I have on the thumbnail. It's a different poster with some spacemen. <laughs> but the incubo is like really big and in fancy um actually yeah, looks like, like the all... font for mind breakers yeah it's all weird so i'm weird. just gonna call it incubo <laughs> incubo it, is a better name it, yeah honestly it's like it's it's a good it's a good shortened title for it but yeah in english they just called it night city nightmare nightmare city, city. i keep saying it fucking night an city. airplane like, exposed to radiation like, lands like and blood-drinking zombies yep. emerge, armed with knives, guns, and teeth. They go on a rampage, <laughs> slicing, dicing, and biting their way across the Italian countryside. Yeah, the zombies in this fight back. <laughs> it's also called just City of the Walking... It is also called City of the Walking Dead. And didn't they base, at least partially, the, the plot of Crazies on this film? I feel like they did. No, Crazies came out a good while before this. I I thought I thought that like they based a little bit off of this film because it's very similar in context. I mean, the Crazies, the titular Crazies in Crazies also use weapons. Yes, but they don't look they nearly as bad t- as these ones, though. Dean, Geo, yeah. whoever you are, they could not have based. <laughs> Nightmare City on the crazies because the crazies came out in 1980. Yeah, no, I, no, because I'm Nightmare just... City came out in 1980 and the crazies came out in 1973. Yeah, but like, I'm just saying, like, you know, the concept is like it's there. I don't know what did it first, though. You know, like, who, who, what was, what was the first use of like zombies using weapons? Like, where, where did that come from? Depends. If you mean an actual zombie, Resident Evil. Was that the really no no night of the living dead yeah was the first because that zombie girl in the basement kills the people with the shovel right 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 but like uh, guns like when when did that happen where where was that's not a thing for zombies Uh, uh, no but zombies have used you know guns in other movies before like uh take uh take like return of the living dead necropolis for example like, Papa they Zombie has want to. That Gatling movie, guns. That movie was awful. <laughs> I know. It's just like, I'm saying, like, that concept, it's like, it's been used in a bunch of other places before, but, like, I don't know what the first one to do it was. And, you know, I'm, I'm um, intensely intrigued. The first one was the Omega Man when uh, Zachary was about to shoot Charlton Heston with a pistol. Yeah, but those are, like, cultists. So yeah, they have a virus, anyway, but they're mostly cultists. Let's... Let's watch the movie. <laughs> okay, fine. Starring a bunch of Italian people I've never heard of. And a Mexicano. Really? Which one? Uh, Hugo Schultz. No, uh, Hugo Stiglitz. Sorry. Hugo Stiglitz. As Dean Mexicano. Miller? What? Yeah, Miller. As Dean Miller. Dean Miller, played by Hugo Stiglitz, which got referenced in The Glorious <laughs> Bastards. There's a character called Mr. Desmond, who's played by Hugo Bologna. That's cool. But like, there's also there's Quentin Mel Tarantino Ferrer referencing Hugo Stiglitz is also really cool. Uh, Maria Rosario Rosario Omag- Omaggio plays Sheila Holmes. Yeah, she's pretty. Looks like she was a model. Mm-hmm. Of course, she would be. But anyway, she, let's watch this. Pretty. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> of the news this evening is speculation concerning the real facts behind the Department of Health announcement about a radioactive spill supposed to have occurred yesterday at the state nuclear plant. 
Information from an official source, which reached our newsroom this afternoon, stresses the seriousness of the situation. <laughs> Miller, something very serious has happened at the airport. But until we conclude our investigation and take the necessary countermeasures, nothing is going to leak out. Nothing. This individual and others like him have been subjected to strong doses of atomic radiation, which increase their physical capacities beyond the norm. In short, it's a kind of a Superman. <laughs> This is Channel 5, TV station. We're being attacked. For God's sakes, send somebody fast. God help us all. Well, that was... something. <laughs> Big psychos. Not much cyber. More cyber in last film. <laughs> More psychos so, here. Less cyber, cyber than the last movie. You want to start? A this? news reporter is being sent to report on some person landing in a plane at an airfield. Yeah, apparently, like big <laughs> nuclear spill happened, and BWC News, which I don't know where the fuck this city actually is, with BWC as like the news source. Like, what what is that abbreviation for? Like, um, big I wig I think city? It's somewhere in, I think it's somewhere in Italy or Germany. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, like, a plane is coming in, apparently, to deliver a, what is he, like, a professor? And he's like... Yeah, hey, some, like, some to, Nobel Prize winner scientist. Yeah, he used man. to, like, work at this nuclear plant. And his name's, like, Otto haagen or whatever. Yeah, and let's see if I can like, find his name. His name is Otto Octavius the Ice Cream Man, and he's coming in to deliver uh, a big a big speech about something, and this guy, Dean Miller, gets assigned to do the, the interview for him. So, of course, he's sitting there on the airfield waiting uh, early in the morning while the plane, like an unmarked plane comes in, unannounced entirely, for an emergency landing, and they all just assume it's him. So of course, they and meet him. But with... it somehow is. Yeah, it's it's. it's but him. he has a bunch of cabbage glued to his face now. Yeah, a bunch of cabbage glued to his face and a knife behind his back, which he uses to stab and assault the military along with his group of infected passengers, which start just like going nuts on everybody with guns and knives and machetes and shit. Just and chopping them up and eating them. Firing at the them The reporter too. runs away. Yep. He, he gets the fuck out of there. <laughs> as as you would. Should. So, yeah, he, he just... He books it. And, uh... He's like, hey, boss, you gotta let me report on this. And they're like, no. The government says you're not allowed to. Yeah, it's like we're we're and showing the dance show, okay? We can't. Yeah, we can't we're showing the, the live aerobics there. dance show instead. <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody wants the, the like the whole mu the music the the whole music and nothing but the music right now. It's I think it's like, sim only music the show. I I don't know what it was called, but I just I call it the music, the whole music, and nothing but the music because it's just a bunch of people dancing. In, in spandex and listening so to he he takes over the um, so important he takes he takes over the radio and instead of saying hey there's zombies coming to kill us all he just he starts like babbling about the plane landing yeah he's like so they guy cut showed him. up unannounced on this thing blah, so blah, blah, they, blah, the the psychos mass hysteria so obviously they um they pull the broadcast they pull the broadcast before it gets any important information out there because he wasted his freaking time. Yeah, he's not a very good uh, reporter, him. No. Well, he might be a good reporter. He's just not a good anchorman. Stiglitz has a very good and, like, a good voice and very sultry acting and stuff in this, and he has a very good uh, way of delivering his lines. And only one expression ever. 
for all of his lines. There's one expression, no matter what the emotion is. He it's delivers his lines with Panage, though. I'll give him that. Like his, his yeah, but that's not is good. But that, that's not Stiglitz who's doing that. That's the other guy who's dubbing him who's doing the Panache. No, I'm pretty sure in Italian it's good too. I watched a little bit of the Italian one. Then why doesn't his face ever change? Because he's stoic in Italian. <laughs> And also, like, okay, he's stoically speaking Italian, and I think he's a Mexican man. I'm pretty sure but, Stiglitz yeah. is Mexican. Yes, because Stiglitz is the most Mexican of names. I think he is, though. I'm checking right now. So, the zombies attack the dancing. Yes, they do attack the dancing. Attack dancing, yes. And... Yes, he is Mexican. What happens next? I forget. This movie was the 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 flow the the flow the the scene to scene flow in this yeah. movie was weird. I I get you, man. I really do. Um. So uh, yeah, Miller ends up getting his broadcast pulled, and then he calls his house, and the maid answers, mm. and he's trying to get a hold of his wife, but his wife like leaves. She's like, oh yeah, like a like a the yeah, maid's like, oh yeah, she's going on to the hospital, to like uh, to go to work because she's a doctor and he's like well could you put her on the line really fast and she runs after her but she, but she just her missed anyway. her and he's like yeah you just missed her and he's like oh, okay the, well I'll, I'll go contact her at the hospital later bye thanks the, the military's like all right we got zombies do we have a plan it's like uh not really but we, we caught one the major's right, like I'm i have no plan now excuse me while i go home and bang my wife and his wife is apparently a clay artist, and she made a weird zombie head, which is somehow important. I think the term you're trying to look for is sculptor. What did I say? <laughs> clay artist. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sculptor. Clay, no, Clay Aiken is a clay artist. <laughs> She's a sculptor. <laughs> she she made this weird zombie head, which apparently has the power of death. Yeah, it looks and... fucking weird. And he's like, that squeezes me out, bruh. <laughs> And she's like, well, fuck you. I think and it's she's like, it. yeah, I agree. I think it's evil. I'm like, okay, why did you make it? What does this have to do with anything? No, I thought she's like, that? fuck you. I thought it was lit, fam. <laughs> did she well, she says something, something about it lines? being evil. I thought she said something like that. <laughs> so. <laughs> fuck you, shit's rad. <laughs> more zombies. Yeah. Speaking of rad, more zombies show up. They kill everybody, and uh, Stiglitz goes to the hospital. Everyone in the dance show, they murder yes. them viciously. After okay, they take out like one's hiding in a bush or something, like uh, a potted, like behind a potted plant with like a dancer mm -hmm. who's like got her throat slit open, and then they just they proceed to ambush everybody and murder everyone. Meanwhile, Miller's hiding somewhere before he just like runs the fuck out of the place because that's mm -hmm. what he do. Like, a, a lot of just running away from the zombies in this. Like, he doesn't usually fight them. Yeah. He, well, he doesn't stand they the don't title. know to shoot them in the head yet. Yeah, but they, they do even, know that they hunger for titties and brains. And even when they figure out that you shoot them in the head, sometimes you shoot them in the head, it does nothing. And sometimes you shoot them somewhere that isn't the head, and it kiss, does still kill them. <laughs> yeah. I want to I want to explain that these are apparently like genetically altered uh, super mutant soldiers that are also somehow zombie bees. But the point is, they have garbage glued to their faces. Yes, and it looks super disgusting and honestly like really scabby and brownish. It's like I'm... they look like they just have like scat stuck to their face. I'm legitimately irritated that they credited the makeup artist for doing basically nothing. <laughs> Kinda. But then again, like... It's, it's an insult to makeup, to, 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 to actual makeup artists, to call this a, a, a person a makeup artist. Yeah, but they're not supposed to look like they're doing very well. Like they're, Yeah, they're but they're to probably not supposed to look like they have stuff glued to their face. Like, yeah, I guess so, but at the same time, it's like, ooh, they've been stuck in this cockpit for, you know, a bunch of months and everything. All their stuff's been scabbed over, basically. 
and like yeah for the most part the the older zombies have a lot of the stuff stuck to them whereas like the newer ones just have like a couple of scratches basically that are like sort of virusy and scabbed over just admit that it looks bad that they don't look well made they look oh really it looks bad. bad it could have benefited from a better makeup artist but like mm -hmm. for the for you mean like, an actual makeup artist not this yeah amateur nonsense yeah but the for the like for the plot like as far as the plot concerned like it's it's more overdone for the older looking zombies as it should be whereas like it gets toned down a little bit more later and it just looks more like slightly more natural for the newer zombies which makes sense so like i'll give it a couple of points at least for like for being you know like on on point with it like as to like the range like for adding range to the cosmetics it's not so, like just zomb all of them have just a bunch of shit stuck to their face. Like, no, it, it ranges from more or less, you know? Nah, it, they're all gar it's all garbage and they all look the same and crappy. Okay, you, you have your right. You have the right to that opinion. Well, it's a bad movie. <laughs> bad movie. <laughs> shit, shit movie. Bad makeup. Makes movie worse. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he ends up he ends up banging out his wife. And he answers the call and is like, yeah, the thing is spooky. Uh, the, the dance happens. A dancer gets her titty ripped off. Um, Miller Sliced, leaves, I think. shitting his pants. They have a big war room meeting where they talk about the, the Superman mutants. Uh, and, and them having increased genetic capacities. Which Whatever I that don't means. know what yeah, that's supposed to mean, really. Like, is it just they have just more genetic material, like, as as mass, thus making them able to, like, take more punishment or something? And if so, why does one single headshot always do the trick? Or not always do the trick? And, and, and sometimes do the trick? I don't know. It's impossible to know. It's, yeah, I just, I don't know. There's so many questions, man. But a bullet to the head apparently will be the instruction and they of can today. infect and people and they can infect people yeah it's like no just the, just aim for the head tell every police officer and military man to sh aim for the head this will do it for sure the um the general wants to rescue his kid uh but yeah he sends somebody to go pick up the soldiers the, show up and Jessica. they're like no we don't want to and then they escape on a on an rv and get killed by zombies yeah they kind of just slip out the back her and her husband to be killed by zombies yeah only only one scene later maybe <laughs> they're not important we're just getting their stuff out of the way yeah because like honestly they're just they're going camping and it's like oh hey we have this whole camping trip planned and then military shows up and goes hey we're sent to take you back to central they're like oh okay let us just go inside and get our stuff together and then husband's like worm tugging her and just like telling her let's get the fuck out of here slip out the back so no one knew what we were there even i know when to be scared and then they leave and then they get eaten at the campsite rather than in their home where the zombies are attacking the soldiers actively and like they they narrowly avoid getting eaten in their home just to be eaten out in the middle of nowhere still bad the camping trip but I don't know what's worse, getting eaten in your home or being able to escape to a relaxing camping trip for a couple hours before getting eaten anyhow. Who knows? What's what's worse, not trying at all or getting to the thing just to fail? Well, it depends. What Which did this movie do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, viewer. <laughs> main character guy goes to the hospital to rescue his wife. Yeah. And he heads up, and they're in the surgery. Uh -huh. uh, the the doctor lady, she his his wife goes up to get blood, uh -huh. and finds the room with the blood bags in it is full of zombies because they drink blood of instead of eating flesh in this. So she escapes, and a zombie comes into the operating theater, and the head surgeon throws a scalpel like a like a like a ninja star. May I add that the entire hospital is under a blackout at the current moment as well? 
Yes. Making things be- ten because times the worse. zombies are smart enough to disable the phones and take out the power. Hey, they're super smart mutant soldiers, okay? They've been trained for this. On top of the fact we're coming off of the fucking critters in the last movie, literally doing wizard level ghost in the shell fucking hacking in a yep. goddamn spaceship. It's like, if that could happen, fuck knows what these zombies are capable of. Fucking, they can use guns. Yes, they can. <laughs> they can. Apparently, also, they know how an elevator works. <laughs> yep. You want to get, you want to talk about that one? Nope. <laughs> okay, because I want to talk about that one. Then you may. <laughs> okay. So, there's the elevator, right? And the elevator's stuck because blackout. And there's a bunch of people just, like, stuck in this elevator. They're stuck in this elevator for, like, a good three scenes, okay? We come Mm -hmm. back to them, like, thrice, okay? The final time we see them, they're like, oh, we need, uh, we need someone to go into the control room or something and, uh, and, and unscrew the winch to lower us down. So, of course, somebody goes inside and... Somebody picks up the the side quest. Yes, someone picks up the side quest, and lo and behold, it's a goddamn zombie, and he's just un- like he's just unscrewing the winch, basically, like he's like he's operating a can opener, basically, which is essentially what he's doing, and the elevator finally hits ground, doors open up, zombies are just having a blood orgy, and of course everybody in the elevator freaks the fuck out instantly runs the fuck open like 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 a bunch of fucking cans of sardines pouring out of this goddamn thing and like just the zombies are just nailing them just one after another it's like that scene in uh, in cabin in the woods Mm -hmm. like where all the monsters are just like destroying the guys in the uh in the lobby or the elevator, elevator scene yeah. from uh, from any George A. Romero zombie film. Yeah, we're kind of like that. Like, it, just any of those. It's like... But, like, the one in Cabin in the Woods, though, is probably, like, the best one, though, because it's, like, literally all kinds of monsters. It's not just zombies. It's, like, mm. giant snakes and fucking praying mantises and shit just, like, running out of the elevators and just fucking killing a bunch of SWAT guys. <laughs> It's it's really cool though, and like uh, during during all this chaos and everything, eventually all the zombies get moved outside, and the Millers end up escaping out the back again, like sneaking out, basically grabbing so, an ambu- amber lamp. We're at the leaving. artist, at the clay artist's house. Yeah. Uh, we checked back in there before when like mm. the whole lawnmower thing was going on. There was like a lawnmower running outside. The the, the sculpture of the cult of the head has been stabbed with a knife and uh-huh. is bleeding, and that goes nowhere. Yeah, kind of the whole thing where her friend Cindy shows up adds mm-hmm. like sort of nothing aside from the fact that she has to lock up the what was it the cellar? Yeah, the coal door, coal hole in the cellar. Yeah, and it's like they go down there, they lock it up, and then they go upstairs and they see like the lawnmowers running and a bunch of other stupid shit, and then. We check back in there where the major shows up. And she's a zombie and she tries to kill him. Yep. Tries to stab him and she shoots her in the head, of course, and her head goes flying off. Um, Which is a No hole in the head. She, it's just a decapitation bullet, of course. Yeah, like the head the head just like blasts off of her shoulders, though. Like it's it's gone. It, mm. it was a decent effect, honestly. I kind of like that effect. It was. It was um, cool. The reporter and his. His doctor wife escape into the Italian countryside. I have to get my doctor wife to punch my my zombie husband in the in the zombie face. And there are zombies everywhere. The wife, uh, the doctor. What is her name? Doctor, 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 doctor. Doctor Miller. Just, just Dr. Doctor Miller. Miller. Her name's Anne, I think. Anna. Yeah, Doctor Miller is like. Hey, you know, we deserved this because humans are bad for the environment, so it's only fair that, <laughs> yeah. they'll, that nature will send zombies to kill us. <laughs> they're having they're having a birdemic style like philosophical debate about society. Yeah. <laughs> and it's In the like, midst of a zombie attack. Yeah. And like they're doing this over instant coffee. They're like they're like 
let us consider the sociological impact of our of our doings during our life. Meanwhile, let's have this instant coffee, which is super technologically created. And if it wasn't for this instant coffee, maybe there would not be zombie problem? Question <laughs> mark. Cities so are bad. bad, though. I know it's really bad and like really heavy-handed. In the the same way Birdemic kind of was, but at the same time it made me get a, like at least a bit of a chuckle. <laughs> Look, at least this was awkward because it was dubbed from another language. <laughs> yeah, Birdemic's awkward just because it was a bad movie. It probably still would have been just as heavy-handed in Italian. Mm-hmm. Probably still. So would have been that. they go to they run inside a church uh-huh. because Doctor oh, Miller's God. like, hey, I forgot about maybe how the old legend, lines are. maybe the. Let, let me take this scene. Go. She run, Because she says that, hey, in the old legends, vampires cannot enter the house of God. I'm just, okay, but <laughs> who said these were vampires? You've seen them running around in the daytime. <laughs> so they go inside the church. They see some a soldier hanging from, from the ceiling on a noose. Uh-huh. And they go in. And there's a pre... And, we see the side of the priest's face, and it's normal. Yep. And they look at the priest and say, "Hello, Father. Can we can get you out of here? Uh, we're not zombies. Can you help us?" <laughs> and then he turns around, and then they see that he's infected because half his face is messed up. But it's the side of his face that, that they was were facing at. them. <laughs> and so he grabs the first weapon to hand. Which is not the stick the candle's resting on. No, he grabs the candle. Yeah. That big cylinder made of wax. He took hit him with. And they deal with him. And then they escape oh. to an amusement park. Yeah, it's, it's pretty and bad. And they run up a, um, a roller coaster with zombies chasing them. It becomes fucking zombie land for like the past the next Miller like five falls minutes. Dr. Miller falls off the roller coaster and dies. No, she falls off the rope onto the roller coaster's bars and, like, ragdolls off. They literally got a ragdoll and tossed yeah. it onto the railings of the fucking roller coaster. And then Dr. Miller, um, what's, uh, Dr. Anna Miller, what's his name? Dean. And then yeah. Dean is like, no, oh. and then he wakes up in his bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it was all a dream. It was all a dream. He used to read Word of Magazine. Uh, just... May I like the it was all a dream ending is never good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's honestly I'm sure this was like one of the first ones to kind of do that. There's an episode of 16 that does this exact same thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, zombies at like there's a zombie apocalypse in the mall. Okay. <laughs> but it was just a daydream of like Jude's or uh yeah, or Jonas's. How, how many movies have we seen that end in It Was Just a Dream? I don't think any. <laughs> no, there's got to be one. There's got to be at least one other one. I can't remember. Like, there's got to be one. I, I, can't, I can't fucking, yeah, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but there has to be one. But he's, he's on has his way to, to the air. He's on his way to report on the, the, the professor who's landing in his plane. And then the same plane lands, the door opens, and then the movie stops and says the nightmare has become a reality. <laughs> Yeah, it's so fucking cheese. This was not a good film. <laughs> oh man, this is yeah, this is so much cheese. You know what? I I will tell I will tell you something right now about like okay. in comparison to the last movie we saw and this movie. Yeah. Okay. Last movie was actually like kind of had like a couple of vulgarities and stuff to it, and it was pretty graphic. Yeah. You know. And otherwise, without those vulgarities and graphic, like, content and all that, it would have been a good child-friendly film. Right? You know what the zomb- what the zombies in this look like, now that I think about it? What? Do you remember the old angry video game nerd character bullshit man? Yeah, they kind of do look they like They all him, yeah. look like him. It, uh, yeah. He's or got, like, like just a... The like, or like Goblin face. Head Boy from the Starcade. There's one in particular, and it's like literally his whole face is covered in in the shit. 
Yeah. Except for his eyes. And he, and his he mouth. definitely no, like even his mouth is covered with it somewhat. Which like, like he has he so looks much like it for sure. He has so much I makeup exactly on. He mean. can't. He cannot blink. Yeah, for real. Like that. That must have been disgusting to wear. Honestly, mm-hmm. I do not envy the actors in this film. Not one bit. <laughs> but like, yeah, I I see what you mean on that one. But like, uh, the last movie gotta, was. Vulgar. I gotta give this one a two. Yeah, but like the last movie was <laughs> vulgar, right? Like Critters had some vulgarity and stuff to it. Yeah. And it had star power also. If you would have mm-hmm. dragged that over to this one and oh, put I'm like sure the more innocent had... and less vulgarity in the other movie, it would have been good. I'm sure this had star power. Well, However, it's got I'm sure one there actor, were basically. stars in Italy, but they're not stars here. He's a Mexican are... actor, Hugo. Hugo yeah, he... Sticklitz is, is a Mexican. But yeah, like... and the rest of them are Italian. Yeah. It's like he's kind of out of place, which is like, like I'm sure some of these are big names much, but... in 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 Italy or Mexico, but they're not really here. Yeah, exactly. This needed a bit more like m- like national star power, you know, like somebody somebody big either in Italy or like just like straight up just big in general in terms of like Hollywood because this got released like in America as is. So it's like... Oh, there's also one from Spain called Manuel Zarzo. Okay. He played one of the military guys, and he was a second unit director on The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. That's interesting. Cool. Yeah. At least he went on to do something better than this. So what do you give this? I'm giving it a solid 2 out of 10. Oh, man. Probably going to give it, like, I don't know, three spikes... One in the one in the eye, one in one in the other eye, and then one just like straight up in my brain to just end all of the pain and suffering. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> like, well. Okay, honestly, there are like some funny parts to this. It is somewhat enjoyable if you're if you're watching it under the right circumstances and maybe with the right people even. Like uh, just a just a popcorn movie on a Saturday night that you just get to fuck around with your friends with and watch, like watching this now it's kind of it's kind of inappropriate I would say, unless you like want to kind of lean into the curb and watch a bunch of zombie movies during a pandemic. And about zombie movies during a pandemic, next week we have another one. <laughs> of course, where's also a t- talent? Let's bring him back. It's also Italian, and it's by an Umberto Lenzi, and it's part, sort of, of a series we've been talking about for a while. Yeah. But that's next week, and I've been Merrick D'Amato. And uh, I have given this movie one extra point because the music in it's really good. I'll uh, I'll give it that. At the very I, least, the music's good. I thought it sounded like Discount Omega Man, personally. Yeah, but uh, like the, at least at least the a uh, Discount Omega Man would still sound good like it's, or then it's I could, good music or alternatively i could just go watch the omega man <laughs> okay go watch go watch a better hugo stiglitz movie in inglorious bastards and also just like listen to listen to the music of omega man right. and again i'm the sucker for good music so hey anyway, I, I like what i like no problem see you next week all right bye guys <laughs>